What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of In a Violent Nature, the newest film from director Chris Nash. Okay, so here we have the 2024 Darling horror film that has been talked about quite a bit. It's going to be on Shutter here very, very soon. Uh, In a Violent Nature, in kind of a... The easiest way to put it is a... What if you were Jason or what if you were something like Jason or Michael Myers and you instead of following the, the people that he kills, you follow the killer as he goes and makes his kills. Now, on top of everything, imagine if he does it very, very slowly, but he finds himself kind of in places that this tends to happen. And that's the film. It basically starts out guy in a grave. He comes out and he goes on murdering camp counselors or murdering people at a you know, cabin in the woods and stuff like that. Very traditional no horror in a lot of respects but like i said it's not traditional in the sense of like you're literally with the man, the villain or the bad guy or the killer the whole time that's kind of where this film leads so like i just said a couple seconds ago 2024 sundance had this film in a violent nature come out and it garnered like rave reviews people loved it people were excited by the fact that you follow the killer it, it was one of those films that has been garnered a lot of praise for what it's doing it's released on ifc midnight which of course did you know a lot of great stuff recently which includes like late night with the devil they of course did that spanish horror film that came out last year that was crazy and uh it's gonna be released on shutter which is cool and so in a violent nature is something i've really been looking forward to because the idea of following the killer is something kind of new original hasn't really been done before yes we follow you remember the the very old film peeping tom there was stuff like that and, you know man bites dog but there's never been a what if you were following jason so when the trailer released i watched it i loved what i saw and um it's the public view of this film has not been the best because apparently before watching it because this is my before thoughts before watching watching this film because it has a lot of slow movement takes when the camera just doesn't really do much there's no music and there's nothing to it just takes a while to get going and then it takes a while to do the things it needs to do it put off a lot of people people were expecting like straight up slasher horror which is what this film is, but it's one of those things where it's just like, okay, so this is going to be more of an art house horror film, which I, I dig, I, I really do, but the question really remains, is this a film that is worth watching, and, you know, is it a good horror film? And to me personally, to me, somebody that loves unique horror films like a Mandy or Late Night with the Devil or, you know, any of these films that really try to be different in a lot of respects, um, I really enjoyed this film. I really did. It's crazy it's brutally graphic it's there is some kills in this that are some of the most wholly unique and original some of the best i've seen in a long long time but it is exactly what you think it is if you go into it wondering why people didn't like this film this film is extremely slow when it comes to its camera movements there's a lot of times where you're just kind of in one spot not really doing anything you're watching the the people at the campsite or the you're watching from outside you know people talking as the killer is watching them and it just kind of lingers on it and that is a that's an interesting way to do things but that's not going to be everybody's cup of tea and it just it doesn't really do a lot um like i said there the, there's probably like four or five kills in the movie but otherwise you're just kind of following this character and the more and more reveal for this character the more and more interesting he becomes but it just once again because if you've seen something like you know a ghost story or something like that with uh rooney mara you're gonna know that this type of film is just it's not a typical slasher film in a lot of respects it's a very art house horror film with slasher elements and that's going to put off a lot of people and unfortunately it's just the way it is it's just how chris nash decided to make his movie and i really thought it was fantastic i really did i i think the one thing that is also going to put off a lot of people is at the very end when there's a sequence in a car that takes 10 minutes to do its explanation and uh, some people were not going to like that because it, it is actually detailing the whole idea of what the mythos of this character is this slasher character and people just 
aren't going to resonate with that because they're like, why is it taking so long? I know somebody who watched it and said the exact same thing. Why is this taking so long? Why is this there? And I get why it's there. It's, it's, it's to create a unique kind of uncomfortability about what's happening, what's going to happen. Is there something there? Is there something here? Is there something going to happen at the end? And it tends to subvert your expectations, which is pretty impressive for a film that is basically following a lumbering slasher person, killer, like a, you know, like I said, like a Jason, as he walks through the woods to his eventually going to kill somebody. And another thing that this movie did that I don't know if it was intended, but I think it might have been, is this movie had the, some of the, the way this slasher uh, killer uses the uses the uh, victims, I was actually laughing. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It was actually like, oh, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, it's like the shock value of it. It's like it makes you go, <laughs> that's kind of funny because of how outrageous and uh, outlandish and really goofy it becomes. And there are some like, the, the visual quality when it comes to like the practical effects are a little noticeable. There's one sequence where you'll notice like the, the hand is, you know, I won't get into the details, but you, you'll notice like the arm is like not really the arm or whatever. But I think in the end, I just, I think I really enjoyed this film. Is it my favorite of the year? Not really because it does, it does do some things that are a little questionable and you know, I, I just, I mean, it's not the best film in the world. It's not going to be the best film in the world. And I do, once again, I do give it credit for the idea of like, though, you, since you're following this killer, you don't really get a lot of details on the people he's killing. And that's a kind of a unique take, because if you think about it, usually you get a lot of details. That's kind of what, you know, Cabin in the Woods was uh, making fun about was the simple fact that like you get all this detail and all you end up getting is these people getting killed. And this one is kind of like, you don't need the details there. You just find the killer just happens to come across these people in the woods or they're doing something that you would see in a, a movie and you see the killer just like reacting to it in like his own way. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just a lot of fun. It really is. It's an entertaining film. It's not for everyone. And it's uh, some of the kills are some, like I said, some of the best I've ever seen. It's kind of unique and uh, you know, different for what it's worth. So overall, be going going if you go into this wanting to see this make sure you realize what you're getting yourself into once again it's a very slow movie movie with a lot of pauses and not a lot of camera movements and not a lot of music and that's not like so what going to be for everyone but for a lot of like real horror fans that are really into like unique horror films i think you'll really enjoy this so take that for its worth so i enjoyed it but some of you guys might so or might not i should say Anyways, with that said, uh, that'll do it. That'll be my take of In a Violent Nature, newest film from Chris Nash. Thank you so much for watching. Comments below. If you've seen this movie, let me know what you think. If you didn't like it, I probably understand, but let me know if you're interested in seeing this movie, all that good stuff. Otherwise, if you like what you see on this channel, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at the top of the phone coming next. If you like this video, awesome. Hit that like button. And as always, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.